Yeah, you know, Kwame is not mad. Kwame is tired. He's sick of people slandering his name when he's out just trying to do him. Like, he's not bothering nobody. They continue to throw this man's name up as if it's a joke. You understand this man has kids that he's raising. These kids got to hear, oh, uh, a bust like Kwame Brown is. Bust like Kwame Brown that Kwame Brown is. Kwame Brown that. And that man ain't done nothing but provide for his family. You understand how them people going to feel when they, those kids, when they go to school and, or people say that to them? I don't think you really understand. Because if you did, you would leave this man the, the hell alone. You know, uplift him, praise him for what he's trying to do. He has a point, you know. Everybody, y'all hollering this Black Lives Matter thing because it's news coverage. But where's you at to try to help prevent it in the first place? Anything that's newsworthy or worthy of attention, those people, those famous people gravitate towards. You know, none of these people they go to big schools something where they're gonna film what about these small towns i live in kentucky in small towns no never i never heard an athlete came and tried no athlete you mean to tell me out of all these years no athlete has ever came to these small schools around here to try to inspire these schools start ymca clubs here or, or you know boys and girl clubs none, none of them come around here you know why because it's so small there's really no coverage you know, that it, it's it's not about that. It's about doing for big cities and all this and that. If it, and Kwame is telling the truth. You know, let's do something for everybody. Let's try to uplift everybody. It don't have to be a certain state, certain community. It's enough money. Let's all try to do something. I don't care if you, you know, you ain't got to be wealthy. You got $10 and, and there's a cause going on, you know, to uplift our community, our men, our protect our women uh, from abusive relationships, all, whatever. It don't hurt to put it in there, you know, to try to help out. And, and you know, instead of tearing down these men, these grown men are literally on national TV tele or streaming or recording as the same as I know, but as I am, but telling this man to suck his, you know what I mean? Matt Barnes, oh, get off my, uh, I mean, uh, you can come to the show. Man, that shit ain't cute. That's why they calling you Becky with the good hair, Matt Barnes. That is not cute, bro. Like, you, you, I mean, well, y'all, this man is proving his point. Y'all proving it for him. Everything he's speaking, y'all turn around and do him. Steven Jackson, you usually speak so much, bro, but you cannot speak on. I look at your response to this. When well, you're just trying to say the man mad and all this net. That is the Zach response that people give you when they try to cover up something from somebody being correct when you're getting arrested by the police or something happens and you're being as professional as you can in explaining your situation and saying you're not going to violate my rights and they do violate your rights what's the first thing they do they criminalize you they make you a criminal in the eye of the public they make you an angry black man in the eye of the public to justify them killing you or beating you to death Y'all trying to vilify Kwame Brown in the eye of the public. Oh, his family this, his family that. He had a great point with the Jeffrey Dahmer situation. Just because he eats human flesh or whatever he done doesn't mean his family's going to do that. You know, so you try to vilify him. You talked about, Charlemagne talked about a brother that's supposed to be in jail for murder, serving life, and the man's out working. You didn't do your research. You didn't know you were. You just tried to do that. You talked about his dad, and then you talked about another brother that he hasn't even never met. So, if you want to say, "Hey, this man, stand-up guy, he grown, he don't mind getting his hands dirty," or you know, he's not gonna sit there and tell you getting beat on, that's a different story. But to try to vilify him the way you did with his family, that's bull crap. That's what y'all doing by saying he's mad, he's angry, he liable to do anything. No, the man is up. He's, he's tired. He's tired of being bullied. He might be upset, but he's tired of it. It's been 20 years. 20 years. This man has kids, man. Leave this man alone. All he want to do is provide for his family. You should not condemn a man for wanting to provide for his family and, want, and wanting to provide for uh, communities across the world and all the blacks across the world. Like, it's time. He absolutely right. Y'all been tearing black men down. Y'all get on TV 
and talk about every black issue and dog it. Black means dog it. And like he said, these white boys get on here. Robert Kraft. Look what he did. He got busted in a prostitution sting. They spoke about it a couple days. And then they wash that shit underwater like it's nothing. Nobody even brings it up anymore. That's mind blowing. How did he get out of that? First of all, there's no way this man did not know this was not a prostitution way. He got caught up in a prostitution ring and because he's the, the big head of the New England Patriots. You know, uh, some uh, somebody superior, white, with money, billions. He skated out of it. No issue, no problem. Maybe a little fine or something. Got up out of that. No, Kwame Brown took care of his family. Made it to the draft. 20 years later, still picking at it. Robert Kraft went and bought pussy. Prostitution ring. Illegally holding girls that he went and got pleasure from, paid from, yet. And it's, what was this, last year? Year for last, something like that? It's not 20 years from now, but yet it's still not brought up as much as Kwame Brown has been brought up 20 years later. They protect white daddy, like Kwame said. Y'all motherfuckers should be ashamed. And he right about y'all. And he's showing y'all. Now everybody trying to go after the trying to go after Kwame. Everybody. This man speaking up. You heard what he said about Master P. He salute Master P and his sons because they're going to prominently black colleges. They try and, and they doing a whole lot of black only. Made by black. So I you know what they say. Oh, we don't want that. You know, and what's crazy is I had one person tell me one time, you know, I forgot exactly what the situation was. But, uh, oh, I think it was a black restaurant. I said, I'm going to go over here and support these black folks. Let me say, we're not going over there. You know how black people is. But you're going to go over to the white people that don't like you. Or secretly might not like you and could possibly do something to your food. Or you're going to go support somebody that you know. And, you know, they're black. And they're trying to start off on the bottom. And, they, well, black people always got to cut corners. or such a, You know why? Because black people ain't born to have it all. You have to try to set a different standard. But we have to do it a different way. You have to give us time to get there. It's been 400 years. We're just now starting the race. You gotta give us time to get to the finish line. You can't expect us to have the same result if somebody had a 400, uh, 400 year head start. I'm not gonna catch a man in, in one second that had a, a 20 yard head start. Give me a little second. I'll hawk him down. That's what we got going. So, man, shout out to Kwame, man. Hey, keep speaking. Man, keep, keep, man, keep giving it to him, bro. Like, man, it's, it's such an inspiration. You know, I donated money when he's on your live to you. Man, I'm going to continue to follow you. I subscribe. You know, I, I, I try to do my part for my community. You know, uplift. You know, just, man, keep doing what you're doing. This right here should put, it, you put a spotlight on a lot of people, so. We got to protect this brother. We got to protect Kwame Brown at all costs because they're going to come after this man. You know what I'm saying? They definitely going to come after this man. And uh, we can't let it happen. You know, uh, that's the reason why they're trying to vilify him, paint him this, this crazy person that way. Uh, if something happens to him, they'll say, hey, see, I told you, I told you. They're trying to assassinate. They're finna try to publicly assassinate him and privately assassinate Kwame Brown. Man, protect yourself, Kwame. You know, you're doing it right. You know how. You know what you're doing. It's the reason why he's saying, yo, I'm staying in, in, in the shadows, you know, all this and that. People listen to him. Watch him. Matt Barnes, Stephen Jackson, Stephen A. You know, these are people that I've listened to for years. And, and when it's pointed out to you what's exactly going on, it helps open your eyes. Even though you already knew it, somebody that has a bigger stage is now speaking up on it. And the words can be heard. People words can be heard through Kwame. Kwame, thank you very much. Hey, y'all let me know if y'all think Kwame right. I want to know what other people think about Kwame. To me, I think Kwame right. He's not doing nothing wrong. 
He's going. Kwame is like the uh, uh, is like the uh, Samuel Jackson of the NBA. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like the way he talk? Turn the channel. But he keeping it real. What what do blacks? Uh, 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 we we like to say we fought. We listen to people to keep it real. We understand people to keep it real. Like he said, you want people to say, "Hey, how you doing?" You know, so we're not paying attention to that. You say, "Hey, this motherfucker here." This is what we used to hearing. We gonna, we gonna listen to that. We understand what's going on. So anyway, let me know what y'all think about Kwame. Sorry, it's been a while, man. I got to get back into. I got to get back in my game. I've been working a lot lately. But uh, for the uh, for the people that's here, you know, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I don't care. Whatever you want to do, follow, holler back. Let me know what y'all think about Kwame. Though I'm really, I'm, it's, I'm really, I really want to know what people, what other people think about the Kwame situation.